Alright guys, welcome back to another video and today we're here to do another Legion Go 2 video and today it's all about installing the Xbox full screen experience. If you guys were jealous of all those people who got the Asus ROG Ally X and you know were like, oh I really wish I could try the Xbox full screen experience, well you can. It is an early access, you can download it right now and I'm going to show you all the steps that you need to do to get it installed on your system now. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Gaming tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming techie. But what we want to do now is what we need to do to get the full screen experience on here. If you guys want the Xbox full screen experience on the Legion Go 2 here, I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to do that now. So we're actually going to go back into settings and Windows updates here. So even though I did everything that was required on there, there is something we need to look at right now. So here in Windows updates, and you can see that right immediately, it used to be that you would have to go into and set like get the latest updates as soon as they're available from here and you would have to hit this in order to get the latest updates, but now this is being rolled out more broadly, and as soon as I turn my Legion Go on and did all the regular updates for Windows, this popped up. Preview update KB5067036262600 is available. Do you want to download and install? It's a preview update, so it's not forcefully installed like all the other updates I did, but this is what enables what you need uh, Windows 25 H2 on your Legion Go in order to enable full screen experience. So we're gonna go ahead and tap download on that right now and let that download and install, which is what we're waiting for. All right guys, so those updates just installed here on the Legion Go. So they the Windows update finished. So we should now be able to go to the next step here, going back into settings here, going back into Windows updates. You can check for Windows updates one more time. Couple of small Microsoft Defender updates, but that's no big deal. That's not gonna really affect what we're about to do. So we'll let that go on its own here. But if we do go back to Windows updates and we actually see what version of Windows we have installed right now. If you wanna go ahead and check the version that you have of Windows installed, you can just go ahead and open up a command prompt real quick and you could just type in WinVer. And this will pop up right here and you can see it's running 25H2, which is the update we just installed, which is the update that you need before you can continue the rest of this process. Is just make sure you see Windows version 25H2. So you can see right now, if you go into settings and you go into gaming, there is no option currently to turn anything on for enabling the full screen experience because we still need to toggle this on. So the next step we need to do is we need to go to the GitHub link I'll have that link down in the, below, in the description below so you guys can see it. So here it is right here. Uh, the Vive tool uh, link here on GitHub, on GitHub is 0.3.4. And you need the Intel AMD version sitting down here. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. Now we're going to go ahead and open up this file here. As a matter of fact, we're going to go back here. We're just going to extract this right here just to make it easy. We're going to extract all. We're going to extract it right there in our downloads folder for the time being. And you can see it is now extracted. We can, of course, delete the other file if we want to so we don't get confused. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to search for the command prompt and then we're going to go ahead and open it here and we're going to make sure we run it as administrator. So we hit that on the right hand side. Go ahead and hit that as administrator and then we're going to cd into the directory of wherever you downloaded that mine being in the downloads directory. now i'm just going to go ahead and type in cd c colon slash and then cd users cd and then i don't know the name of the folder that my directory is in, so uh, mine is NJBRO. So when you do DIR, it shows you the directory of what, what is in there. So now I know it's NJBRO. And then we can go to the directory that we're going into. And now we're in that directory. And then again, I don't know the name of the folder, so I'm gonna hit DIR. So the folders that are in there, uh, you could just do CD and then Vive Tool. And you don't need to type it in all completely. You can just hit that. You can start just typing it and then hitting the tab key and it will kind of finish typing it in for you uh, based on what it sees there. So you can see it's finished typed in Vive tool. 
and then we're in the directory. So now we're in the directory and now what we're going to do is we're going to type this in uh, exactly as shown and I'll put these commands down below as well for you guys. So basically there's two commands you're running. You're going to type in vivetool.exe and then slash enable. Oops, I can't spell. Enable space slash ID colon five two five eight zero three nine two. So that's what you're typing in right there. Vivetool.exe space slash enable space slash ID five two five eight zero three nine two. Then you're going to go ahead and hit enter. You're going to see it does its thing. Windows configuration tool successfully set the feature configuration. And then you're going to type in almost the same thing, but you're going to change the ID. So you can just hit the up arrow. So you don't have to type in the whole thing again. And then you could just do uh, erase what you need to erase. And it's going to be five zero nine zero two six three zero. And then again, hit enter. And you will see sometimes it scrolls up by itself. You can see successfully set the feature configuration. So that's the second part. So we got that all configured there. Now we need to do something. You need to be careful when you're in here because this is the registry we're talking about right now. So don't make anything that, besides what I'm about to tell you in here because registry will mess up your whole entire <laughs> windows. But we do need to go into the registry and just change a really quick thing. It's no big deal. Just make sure you're just changing this and not anything else. So you're going to go into H key local computer or local machine, I should say. And then you're going to go into software. Then you're going to go into Microsoft. Then you're going to go into Windows NT and scroll down here till you find Windows NT. There it is. Then you're going to click on current version. And then you're going to scroll down and look for OEM. There it is. Now you can see I already have a key in the OEM directory that says device form. So if you don't have a device form already in here, then make sure you can just right click and create one and you can just hit new and then you hit D word 32 bit and then create it with the same name device form capital D capital F. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to set the value to two E and if the keyboard doesn't pop up, just go ahead and pop it up yourself uh, from the bottom taskbar there and then type in two E on this. And again, make sure it's hexadecimal and there you go. So like I said, if you don't have that there, then create it. If you do, then you could just change the value like I just did to 2E and that should be it. That's all you need to change in the registry. We should have that set here. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to restart. Let this restart back into Windows here. We're just going to log in with our fingerprint. There we go. And of course, it's bringing up the Legion Go automatically because that's what it's set to do right now. Um, so now we're going to go into settings here on Windows. And if we did everything right from our previous steps, we will be able to go into gaming. And then boom, you see a new option right there called full screen experience, an option that was not there before we did all the steps that we just did. So now we're going to go ahead and click on here. It's going to tell you to choose a home app. You're going to go ahead and make sure that that's the Xbox. And then you're going to go ahead and hit enter full screen experience. So now what's going to happen is, is you're going to exit this right here. You're going to go ahead and open up the Xbox app. It is launching the Xbox. And then you can see Xbox full screen pops up right there in the right corner. Press here to enter a full screen experience. Boom. Restart for better performance. For full, for optimized performance, your device will restart, then start the full screen experience. You can you can also start right away. So we're just going to restart just to get better performance, and we don't want to do that. But so you could do that and let it restart one more time while it optimizes. And then now when you reboot every single time, you will see that the Xbox full screen experience will be the first thing that you see uh, when you turn this device on. So we're back into Windows again. Actually, I tried launch both things at the same time. We have the Legion Go trying to launch, and then we also have the Xbox that you saw launched right before it for a split second here. So we, what we need to do, uh, if we don't want this to launch every time, unless we need it, is probably go into settings and go into general, and we can turn this off from booting up all the time. So we can turn it off right there. Uh, so we can leave that right from there, and uh, then we don't have to worry about this launching every single time. 
Uh, otherwise, you would have seen this in the beginning if I didn't have that option turned on. So make sure you turn that off as well. But now you guys are seeing a very familiar interface to what you guys are used to seeing on the uh, Xbox ROG Ally X. You got the Xbox full screen experience. You have everything working with your controls if you ran everything correctly that I just showed you. And now you have all your games sitting right here. You can see the multiple libraries are here. You can see it's pulling my Call of Duty, my GTA 5 from Steam. Uh, it's pulling you know, my games on here, tape to tape that I installed from Steam as well. You could see it still has its launchers that it pops up on here as well, which is good. And you can easily just pull up from the bottom and you get that Xbox interface when you have multiple things open that you can kind of just pull up and switch between apps or close thing and stuff like that. And now you're running the Xbox full screen experience. You still have the Windows desktop shortcut if you need to get into Windows, but now you're saving you know, a lot of RAM and stuff like that like the Windows experience gives you because a lot of the Windows stuff is turned off while you're sitting here at the main screen. So this is really awesome that you can already get this on the Legion Go and start messing with it, even though it's not fully out and you know ready for use like for everyone except the ROG Ally officially being supported, but it's working pretty well so far based on a lot of people's thoughts. We'll see how it goes for me, but this is how you get it installed. So awesome stuff.